Hey YouTube, this is Pet Tech. Today we've got a bunch of stuff to open in the mailbag. Uh, I've got a, a plant pack, we've got a My Aquarium box, we've got some less fishy stuff but kind of interesting stuff here to open too, and a special surprise aquarium from Fluval that you probably haven't seen before. It's all coming up right after this. Hey YouTube, this is Peg Tech, and if my mail order load looks a little light this month, uh, it's because I had to kind of reinvest in some equipment. Uh, if you remember some of my older videos, yeah, now you probably didn't notice, but in a lot of my videos, I used to have this really cool wide-angle lens. It was really neat, it looked really neat, so it made a whole bunch of noise. And right before I went to the aquatic experience in Chicago, it broke altogether, so it doesn't work at all. So although, strictly speaking, it's not a fish item, uh, it is something that I will use all the time in my broadcasts. And that is this Canon lens right here. It's a 10 to 18 millimeter EFS lens. It's a f4.5 to 5.6. And I also got a Tiffin UV protective filter. Now take it from a pro photographer, the UV lens is extremely important. The back of your lens a lot of times it's protected, you know, you've got it on the back of your camera or you've got a cap on it or something like that. But that front of your lens is open and exposed quite a bit. This not only keeps dust, but uh, little wandering fingers and all kinds of little issues that pop up with camera lenses. Always get one of these for the front of your lens. Now like I said, this isn't a fishy item and I'm not going to spend a great deal of time on it, but I did want to use it. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was not cheap and it used up a great deal of my Amazon money this month. All right, so just for perspective, uh, the lens that I'm using now is at 18 to 55, and it's on 18 right now. This is a 10 to 18. So this, so what you're seeing now should be what this looks like when it's zoomed in. But of course, we'll be able to zoom out and have all kinds of other options. Let's go ahead and take a look. Ooh, and there it is, wide angle. Also, I just noticed that I I didn't have my microphone on. I'm having to use the microphone for the other camera. So I apologize if that sounded really terrible. Yep, quite a bit wider. A big wide angle lens like this will offer you all kinds of uh, creative opportunities, different ways to film things, and uh, make it in general more versatile. All right, but let's get into the rest of the stuff, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do my other, like, it's kind of a fish thing because I'm planning on using it for an aquarium, but it's not really a fish thing. And it is a Cthulhu sculpture. I'm showing you this, and I'm not gonna dwell on it very long, but I'm showing you this for one reason. If by chance uh, you were interested in maybe adding something other than what's available at PetSmart or Petco, if you wanna make an aquarium ornament, perhaps out of, uh, out of some sort of fantasy character or something like that, I highly recommend the Reap Your Bones series. And the reason is they're made out of plastic. Uh, a long time ago, a long time ago when I used to paint these things, they were always they were always metal. And there were these huge metal things. And something this substantial in metal would just cost a fortune. It used to cost a lot. Sometimes they'd be made of resin too, especially at this size. They'd be made of resin. But now they make them in these really high quality plastic molds. Uh, it comes white, just like you see here. And the way these kits come, you can take all the parts and you can just kind of fit them into place. They have little tabs and they just kind of fit into place. You don't even have to glue them, especially when you're trying to figure out what you want to do. This guy really didn't cost very much money. It should be easy to kit bash if I wanted to change things up a little bit. He's kind of enormous. I mean, that's, that's a really big model. I think it ran around $30 or so. I'll throw it up on my, oops, I got this upside down. I'll throw this up on my Amazon list in case you guys are interested, just in case there's somebody else out there who wants to put an old one in their tank. I think this would be cool. What I'll do is I'll paint this with acrylic paint and um, 
yeah, that's what I've used for all the other homemade ornaments and stuff that I've used to my tank. So that's pretty cool, little Cthulhu dude. We'll put him aside over here. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It's gonna be a real challenge to figure out how to get this in the flex. Okay, so next up is the plant pack, and as usual, you know, I opened it days ago because you can't let plants sit in a box. And I filmed the entire thing. Unfortunately, the next day was Kerrigan's prom, and uh, I taped over all of it. But I do have some footage of the plants where they are now, and uh, it was a really cool plant pack. Let's just talk about what came in it. Got a couple of cool stickers. Which is always nice. This month's value was $46. And uh, it's got Leopard Val, Bacapa Manari, Rotilia Vietnam, Bulbitis Hetricotalata. Cannot pronounce these. I apologize in advance. Most of these made homes in my 55, and I believe I put the Rotalia in the Tankception tank. So, another cool plant pack from H2O Plants. You can subscribe and every month you get a box of plants. Or you can buy any number of plants individually. He's got great plants, he's got good prices. Be sure to check him out, there'll be a link down below. All right, and now we've got the My Aquarium Box May. And as always, when I open a My Aquarium Box, I have to dig deep for an implement of destruction. And today, I've found the most deadly one I've ever had. It's a tiny decorative spoon. Super cool decorative spoon. The ultimate unboxing tool. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Actually, it's a little thick. I'm doing it though. So let's pull this open and see what's inside. Recently I switched from the regular My Aquarium box to the planted My Aquarium box, by the way. So this is the, the planted box. This is the May 2018 planted tank box. And it's got a value of $53.94. That's the scorecard. And here are the sponsors. And let's see, right here on top, we've got some coupons for a couple of different things. H2O Plants, Green Oasis Farms, Tidal Gardens and Beantown Aquatics. I'll have coupons in this box. And we've got a little note from last month's winners. Of course, you can win a free My Aquarium box off Facebook. Or if you do get a My Aquarium box, you can film an unboxing like this and possibly win a Mega Box. Mega! I have no idea where that comes from. Okay, right on top here, we have a shrimp net. Now, this is really neat. I've actually got, I've actually got one of these already but it'll be cool to put another one in a different place. They're telescopic. <laughs> so they're actually pretty long. They got a neat little net. These are perfect. The shrimp like to run and hide in the, between little small crevices and tiny spots like that. And you, this you can really get in there and get them out. Very cool, tiny shrimp net. Well, I've got a little note here. You'll have to glue this tap I broke it to fit in the box, hashtag blue moon. Oh, Mike. Mike from Mass Aquariums likes, likes to send me little prizes and looks like it's a beer tap for blue moon. Or part of one. Oh. Yes, here's some more of it. Little pieces here and there. Okay, I'll put this together later. Thank you, Mike. Okay, right here from Ocean Nutrition, we have some shrimp wafers. Really cool. I love having shrimp in a planted tank. I think they're real important and what a great way to include that. If, there, if I was gonna get some fish food for a planted tank, I would think shrimp food would be a great idea. Ooh, here's a really cool piece of Malaysian driftwood. It's got a nice little hoop built into it and everything. Really neat. And let's see, digging on. Ooh, we got some Brightwell Aquatic stuff. What is this? Floramin Multi. Multi-nutrient with iron and iodine. Very cool. 
And what is this? Ah, here's something I've never seen before. This is from Dr. Tim's, and it's called Waste Away Time Release Gels. And I'm, I guess, let's see, it's hard to tell from the description exactly what it does. So let's open it up real quick and take a look at it. It's a single pack and oh, it's got a little note to remove so it's kind of protecting. Oh, but it's got some sort of gel compound in it and a little suction cup so you can put it up like that. And you can hang this in your tank and presumably it'll pull waste from the water. Well, that's kind of interesting. I've never seen this before or even heard of it. Looks like uh, from the box, it looks like they do have a marine version. This is a freshwater version, but there's a marine version as well. Helps maintain clear tank. Lasts up to 30 days. Click, unzip, and stick in tank. Easy, no dosing or overdosing. Lowers nitrates and phosphate. Very, very cool. Well, that's pretty neat. I can't wait to try that out and see how it does. It looks like we've got one more thing in here. What's this? Ooh. I'm betting this is a Pleco Cave. I've gotten a few of these from these guys. But this one's triangular. Ooh, a little triangular Pleco Cave. My Placos love these things. These are great little fish hides too. Love these things. Now of course this is really small, but a uh, little baby bristle nose and stuff will love that. Very cool. Hi, little Pleco Cave. And that is it. And there you have it, folks. The May 2018 Planet Tank My Aquarium Box. Ooh, but I promised you guys a surprise that I haven't forgotten. Let me clean this up, and then we'll pull it out. Okay, so as you know, every now and then, not very often, but every now and then, Fluval will send me something new to check out. And this week we have... Oh, a new Fluval EB which may look a little familiar. <laughs> Basically, this is the Fluval Spec, but it's been rebranded as the EB, and the reason is it also comes with substrate, a fishnet, and some other stuff, some bug bites food, and especially made for shrimp. So this thing is meant to be a ready-in-the-box shrimp kit for a little planted tank for shrimp. And we're going to be opening this up and setting it up next week. We'll do some minor spoilers for, for you and kind of show you what, what's on the back here. But it is basically the same. It is almost the exact same kit as the two and a half gallon Fluval Spec. Yeah, it looks like the same light and everything. Except that this one comes with a shrimp net, much like I just showed you. Some bug bites and it looks like some Fluval Stratum, I believe this is. So it's kind of a, it's, it's a little bit more than the spec was in that it's a kit. I have no idea what it costs. I can't find it online. They never tell me when they send me these things. It's always a complete surprise. So yeah, the Fluval EB, as they've rebranded it here, will be opened up and set up next week. So be sure to tune in and check it out. Folks, and that's all this week. I apologize. I didn't have a ton of aquarium stuff to show you, but... Uh, but next week we'll do a whole setup video. I've got a tank just like this, or very similar. It's the, one of the original versions of this tank. And it's actually, and there's actually a crack somewhere near the top, uh, probably where I've tried to attach a light that wasn't really made to go on there. So it actually has a, a really short leak, and uh, I've been wanting to replace it anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this stuff out of the tank upstairs, and I'm gonna swap it into here and maybe catch out the shrimp that are in there, put them someplace safe while this thing cycles up. But, but what's cool is I can take and swap all the media and the sponge and everything, and it should be in pretty good shape almost from the get-go. I think this fluval stratum will probably leach a little bit of ammonia as a lot of the soil-based substrates do. So I, I won't put shrimp in it right away, but we'll be testing it with some cycled material and just see how fast this thing comes to life. I wanted to let you guys know too that I did release my first video on the Pet Tech Games channel and uh, it's all about Firefly Adventures and that's up right now for you to see. There'll be a link for Pet Tech Games at the end of this video if you'd like to check it out. It's actually been live for a few days. 
And it's really weird to watch a video have like four views, so be sure to check it out. That's all I got for you guys this week. I'll be back real soon with another video. Until next time, follow your bliss. Keep a clean tank. Mail order some stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I wanted to let you guys know too that I have started the Peck I wanted to let you guys know too that I have started the Peck Tech Games channel. It's got its first video where I am where I where I hey work. I don't want to <clears throat> I wanted to let you guys know too that I have